So preseason, early stuff. What are you learning? How are you adjusting? Um, I mean, due to last year, I'll pretty much say I'm already adjusted. It just comes down to doing what I know and doing what I'm. I know I'm capable of doing. And that's pretty much it. So your time was limited last year. So this year, uh, obviously, it looks like it's going to be more. What are your thoughts? Um, you know, I'm excited. You know, being able to sit back last year and actually watch Deuce put in the work and watch what he does, that actually built my confidence. And he was actually kind of a role model to me. So he helped me throughout the season and just look forward to seeing a bunch of stuff he did last year. What did you learn from him? <clears throat> um, basically maturity, you know, staying ready, staying patient because, you know, God's timing is always right. You slipped by him, man. Two doors. <laughs> <laughs> Game's slowing down for you a little bit. I know everybody says when you get there, it, it's, it goes so fast. Is it mm -hmm. things starting to slow down? Yeah, for the most part, yes. But, you know, it's an up and down game. But actually watching and playing is two different things. But I'll say it slowed down a lot for me. Did it make more sense to you when you sat and watched it when they said, okay, this is why you do what you do in this situation? Are you seeing the bigger picture now, I guess? Yeah, I, t I see the bigger picture now, totally. Yeah. Because actually, why, well, film never lies, so actually seeing the mistakes happen, you have no choice but to, you know, know it's the truth and know what you're saying and what the coach is saying is right. Where is the team chemistry right now? I know last year's group was pretty close. Um, and you've got a bunch of new pieces that you're putting in around what you got coming back. Mm -hmm. How has the chemistry been, you think? I'll say our chemistry is pretty good just because of how we are off the court. Okay. That carries on to the court. What about on the court? I mean, you got to know where guys are going. Are you are you seeing where the guys are on the uh, on their picks and where they're coming off and things like that? Is that still a work in progress? Yeah, I, I, honestly, I'll say I pretty much see everything. I might not react right away. I might say something after. But yeah, you feel like where Sean is and where Taz is, or, or you're getting them where they need to be, or getting the ball where they need to be, where they want to shoot it and score. All I all I have to do is get them the ball, and they're gonna they're gonna they'll do the rest. So <laughs> yeah. You know, I was asking Isaiah about this last week. Uh, you know, obviously he played some last year, and then mm -hmm. he gets hurt, and then you know, then he's kind of gone. So now he's kind of coming in a year later, and his role is completely. Different from what it was last year. And right. You're kind of in that same boat, so I'm just yeah. kind of wondering, you know, what, what's that like? I mean, you go through a whole year, and you know, and, and it's this and this and this, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, you know, a couple things change, and, and it's like your whole life is kind of kind of changing at, at a snap. Mm -hmm. I mean, to start, I mean, pretty much, you know. It brings you butterflies. It make you nervous. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's about trusting your work and trusting the work you put in. Was there any frustration last year? I mean, I'm sure you probably played tons, started tons mm -hmm. every game of your career. Now you're having to, to watch a lot more. Is that hard? Yeah, because when you're so used to playing the whole game, you know, watching, that's, pretty, that's a pretty tough moment. But it's just all about staying patient. So now taking this year, how, how is your game different this year? I'll say I'm um, handling the ball better. I'm shooting the ball better. I'll say I got a little faster, but my defense is there. So, what surprised you about playing Big Twelve basketball? Some of the places you've been—you've been to Kansas, now Oklahoma State, Baylor. You got a defending national champion. What what struck you most about playing in this league? Um, I wouldn't say anything. Just stood out to me because it was what I expected. But I would say pretty much due to COVID, but some crowds were still kind of loud. So that was it was louder than I've play, ever played in. So. And it's going to be even twice as loud this year. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Ty Sherman was talking about earlier about, uh, about how you and Malik kind of really go at each mm -hmm. other in practice. And uh, just, I mean, obviously you're just kind of getting to know him now mm -hmm. I mean, for the first time. So what's that been like working with him? competing against them, and mm -hmm. you know, what do you guys kind of bring uh, as point guards? We bring the 
I'll say me and Malik bring the attitude to practice. Because, you know, we go back and forth, but it makes me and him both better. Yeah. Malik said he likes playing on this team because there's a lot of junior college guys. Mm -hmm. well, what is it about junior college guys? I mean, you know, obviously, it's the, they're, they're the obvious things where, you know, you guys don't get a lot of things. That, uh, right. You know, explain that to me. Describe that a little bit. Um, to sum it up, it's really just – we're not used to handouts. We're used to, like, being overlooked and things like that. And I say the junior college route is a real humbling experience. Was it something you had to do or was it something you wanted to do? Or? Well, I'll say, I'll say I had no choice okay. because I thought that would have been best for me to, you know, start over and just do the whole recruiting process over again. Yeah. You were known for defense. Uh, you know, they, they, a lot of people have talked about that. Your energy, mm -hmm. is that something that, uh, you know, you take pride in? How good are you in that area and how much can you improve? I think I'm okay in that area. I can improve a lot because, you know, there's no, there's not, there's nothing perfect. So there's always room for improvement. But I think I could do better once I, you know, watch the film, watch my mistakes, and I learn from those. You guys obviously had the closed door scrimmage with, with, with Dayton, which probably helped a lot uh, mm -hmm. as far as being able to see things. But, um, you know, it's an exhibition tomorrow, but you're going to have fans and, you know, it's going to be kind of more of like a game atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, how excited are you for, for that kind of opportunity to just kind of be able to go out and show, what you, you know, show what, how you've improved and, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, what you've been working on and, and do it in front of a live, you know. I've right? been – I've been thinking about this day planning from in front of a crowd since since I found out we wasn't going to be able to have a full crowd. So I say I'm pretty excited, you know. Growing up, that's kind of a dream playing in front of big crowds, you know, and showing your skills, showing your abilities. What can this team accomplish this year? Oh, I think we have every piece that we need to make a deep run in a tournament. It's just all about us communicating with each other and just coming even closer together as one to, you know, to accomplish the things we want to accomplish. You say communicate, you mean talking on the floor? Is that what you mean? Or? Yeah, um, talking on the floor, you know, picking each other up, you know, not letting each other get down, just staying positive throughout whatever situation we're going through on the court. Is that something you're willing to do? Absolutely been hard to bring all the pieces together because you've got returners, but you also have a lot of newcomers as well. Mm -hmm. So how have you guys meshed together? Um, You know, it's just all about giving somebody a chance, you know, practicing with each other for like four months. I mean, obviously, you know, we're going to find out what each other does best, where they like to shoot the ball on the court, what they like to do. It's just about putting all that stuff together and just making it work. Somebody been a lot better than maybe you assumed. I mean, he, he, we know about Taz and Sean and mm -hmm. even uh, Bridges, but some of the, the new guys really I, jumped out to you. I'll say, I'll say Kobe, because he wasn't one of our, you know, like top recruits or, you know, they were just looking forward to him coming. But as I've played against him, practiced against him, he's really good. He's way better than I thought. Just talking to him, he sounds like a pretty self-confident dude. Mm -hmm. Does that come across? I mean, Kobe, he's he's real laid back. He's real nonchalant. He don't really show too many emotions. Uh -huh. But he's a he's very mature for a freshman. A little bigger too than we expected. He's pretty thick. Yeah, I think that's what Ohio breeds. <laughs> <laughs> don't get that out of Texas. Football players, yeah. <laughs> but basketball, you have some big ones, you have some skinny ones. <laughs> Mixture. All those meals you skipped in junior college, right? You're making up for them now, right? Honestly, I still skip meals now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh.